If horror games let you fight back, they'd be called action games. How about horror action games? Tch. My camera! My camera! No! Son of a bitch! But now how will I will be able to report this war? You need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just go into the fucking dark then. This is the part of the game where they give us perfectly lit up environments so that way we can actually see where the fuck we're going. <sighs> now that Dead Space 2 was but Yeah, I agree. Dead Space 2 was a lot better than the first one. And I don't understand when anyone ever goes, Dead Space 1 was a lot scarier! I mean, yeah, the first game you didn't know what the hell was going on, so it was a little bit more scary, I guess, in the regards of the unknown. But, Dead Space 2 had a fuckload of a better storyline. And a lot better characterization. Isaac didn't say anything in the first game. Two? He talked. And that was great. Because it meant when you did shit, when you accomplish these goals, your character actually gave a fuck. Yeah, you could say, you know, faceless character, everything's gotta be you that does things. No, that just seems silly. Also, why do they keep putting these random cards around? I feel like those are supposed to be like collectibles or some shit, but I don't know. And that's basically it was all right. It wasn't great, but it kept it up with it. it, it the story kind of got a little excessive, and Ellie became like went from kind of like a strong character to kind of like a stupid character. In fact, yeah! A good amount of the characters were really fucking stupid in Dead Space 3. Mostly, but, but, you know, it was still fun. Even if the story just got a little excessive. Okay. Spooky. Yeah. Hey! Please don't do this to me. I just want my camera back. Dick. Hey! Okay, bye. Asshole. Is that my camera? No, it's just something blue. Hey! Where's my fucking camera? So now Gum is suddenly capable of fist-fighting these guys? No, it's shaking them off. We've been shaking them off for a while. MY CAMERA! <sighs> oh my fuck. Well, that's awkward. It's gonna start glitching out too. Great, fantastic. Oh. Gotta go this way. Climb back up. Oh, very fucking quickly. Oh boy. They broke my fucking camera. Well, they didn't break it. The environment did. Fucking environment. I don't even know where I'm going. Ah, 
There we go. Shut up, camera. Silly camera, that's not what a camera looks like when it breaks. Well... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe the developers just did it for effect. Don't tell me I'm stuck. There we go. Sometimes you just don't know when a game just doesn't know what to fucking do with you. Dude! Fucking grab onto something! You're gonna break your goddamn legs at this rate! I don't know how we're gonna get across the gap since it kind of is now even further. God, we've heard about a game called about a ghost detective finding his murderer. Yeah, that looks really cool. Maybe I could have just gone that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is gone missing fingers? Yep. Our fingers were cut off by a crazy asshole doctor. Huh. Okay. Marn, I hope you're fucking happy. My camera's broken now. Sort of broken. Yeah. Crazy. Actually, I guess I do have to go over there. You sure I should jump over? Okay! What? Oh! That was fucking lucky. It fell through the beam rather than walking across it. Hey! Only one way out. Only one way. Yeah, okay. How do you know you're not a patient? Shut the fuck up! I'm not a patient! I... I drove in here! Patience wouldn't have had a car! What happened with Martin? Did he turn on him? Well, there's a chance. Ah, oh, fuck us. We're at the beginning again. Except now Chris is being a dick. Wait, no, Chris has always been a dick. Did anyone see in heavy rain with the hands guys? Spoilers, dude. I want to play that before, uh... I want to play that before... Beyond Two Souls comes out in October. We'll probably stream that too, so we can hit all the reactions. All the fun. Chris just wants a hug. Fuck him! He tears my head off! That's not how you do hugs! I mean, I guess it's how you do hugs to someone you just don't like, but Jesus. <gasps> Chris! Chris, please! I've got a desk, Chris! Do you have a desk? Oh. Oh, this is awkward. He can come up here. Ow. Get in the vent. I said, get in the vent! What am I doing? What the fuck? But Gum, he didn't spoil any story! He just said that one of the characters cut off his fingers. Yeah, if that isn't a spoiler, then Jesus Christ. Why did Miles not bring a gun? To be fair to Miles, he didn't expect that all this crazy shit would be going on.
What I'm gonna do is let him open that door and then fuck off. How's this dick? Is he alive? Nope. Wow, sucks for you. Unless he is alive! Then that'd be kind of funny. And sad. But I'm pretty sure he's fucking dead. Fuck out of the way. Some people really can't get the concept of, hey, I'm doing something. Okay. Um, but wasn't the library fucked up? Why isn't the library fucked up? Uh, maybe I'm just imagining... things. Right? The library's fine! It can't be fine! That's... There's blood everywhere else! <laughs> Document. Uh, translated from German. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wenrich in his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not have believed it had happened, but beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancerogeneration, cancero, cancero, oh, Wait, is it cancer or cancero? Cancero generation. I believe Wenrick's method had, has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition. Briefly, but undeniably so. Please forward my note and invitation to witness further experiments to Dietrich Eckhart. I do not doubt the Fuhrer himself may need to be aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dendr Dr. Wenrick's successes represent an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Nazis? Huh. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Find Martin in the administration block. Okay. We gotta find the administration block! Crazy people that aren't insane are adorable characters. Okay. Retrieve the key from the recreation hall. So we gotta go to the recreation hall, which is that way. And it's behind the light. Watch the movie, and it'll be behind the light. Come on, open up. Damn it. The exit's right there. 
Someone's playing piano. That's nice. I hope it's someone and not a ghost. Like in some other things. Hmm. Fuck, you broke his camera. I- I dropped my camera. You know, that'd actually be kind of funny. Imagine if you could... ...drop your camera... ...like, by accident. In the middle of playing the game. Like, you're running so fast that you just drop it, and you have to go back to pick it up. That'd be another really annoying feature, but... It'd be kind of cool. Hey, it's this guy again. Howdy. <laughs> you look so ugly. I'm sorry. Don't judge people on their appearances, but at the same time, judge their appearances, right? Oh boy. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. The human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... A proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed an horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? The Warnick's Exit Review. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. Or anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernick. Los Alamos means government work. Wernick talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a deaf subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. The morph morphogenic engine. The engine. The movie project- they're projecting. It gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see re uh, Rorschach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk using- about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's like the buzz I hear in my bones. Oh gosh. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? I swear if he says to hell. Okay, doesn't say anything at all. Okay, I'm sorry, you can say hell. Didn't I just get into plagiarism? <laughs> I recorded most of that. 